So you just got a PS4 and you don't have a lot of money left to buy games, but you want to get a lot of games and get the bang for your buck. Well, it's a good thing you came to my YouTube channel because we're about to talk about how to get a really hefty game collection for the PS4 for $100. This is a PS4 budget buying guide. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to stay under around $100 and get some bangers up in here. But if you're new here, what's going on? My name is Joe, AKA J to the OE. Thank you for joining me in my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Otherwise, let's do this. All right, some rules. I'm only gonna show you the games that I actually own. So one thing I don't own that I know that's pretty cheap is the Uncharted collection. That would be one of my suggestions if I owned it. But since I don't, I have one, two, I have one, two, and three on PS3, so I don't feel the need to get the whole collection. So even though that's a great game and it's cheap, it's not gonna be on the list. And I'm basing my prices on pricecharting.com as of January, 2023. It's not completely accurate, but it's close enough. You'll get there by like the nearest $10. So here's my budget buying guide for the PS4. First, we're gonna start with this Marvel Spider-Man. It's currently $9.87 on pricecharting.com. This is the greatest Spider-Man game ever made. The swinging mechanics, man, the story, the story made me cry. It, it was, it's a touching story. You see all the row galleries of all of his villains. And, you know, it's not, it's not based on a movie. So it's its own original story. And this kept me at the edge of my seat the entire, entire time. This is one of my favorite games of all time. And this is a really great game to get if you just got a PS4. The next game I would say, God of War. I know God of War Ragnarok just came out, but this is the God of War. Came out 2018. Was it game of the year? Or almost game of the year, but man, this was great. The cinematics in here is great. The way they shot this game, it made it look like the whole game was just done in one shot. That was a really clever way uh, to do that. And it's a really touching story. Kratos' wife just died and Kratos and Atreus, his son, they're climbing a mountain to spread her ashes. So this is God of War. This clocks in at $11.57 on price charting. This is the most expensive game on the list, coming in at $15.79. Shadow of Colossus. This was a great game. If anything, all this game is, is just boss fights. There's a touching story. Um, Again, I teared up playing through it. Each boss fight is its own puzzle. You gotta figure out how to climb the giant colossus and kind of keep on your grip. It's, it's a whole puzzle, each colossus, and each colossus offers a different challenge. One um, goes underwater, one flies, one, yeah, there's always a pattern in, in those. So Shadow of Colossus coming in at $15.75. The next game on the list coming in at $5.33 is Fallout 4. This is a really long game, so you really get your bang for your buck, especially if you do a bunch of the side quests. Some of them are meaningless, but they're all kind of fun until you get tired of them. Um, Fallout 4 is set in the Fallout universe. Oh, who would have thought? And it's post-apocalyptic, the nuclear bomb has gone off, and it's years and years and years after, and you're in um, post-apocalyptic Boston. And so all the Boston sites are there, from Paul Revere's Last Ride to um, Faneuil Hall and all of that. And it's really, I, used, I lived in Boston when I played this, and it was really cool to go through all the places and be like, hey, I've been there. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not really accurate map-wise, but it's all there. Um, Fallout 4, $5.33, a great buy. The next game is Horizon Zero Dawn, coming in at $9.21. This is basically Zelda Breath of the Wild with robot dinosaurs. You can't, you can't go wrong here. This was a really, really great game. I mean, I think 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it came out at the same year. Um, Zelda, yep, 2017. It came out the same year Zelda came out. But it was a good game of the year contention had, you know, Zelda not been there. But this this was a great game. Great graphics, great gameplay. It follows Aloy and, and robot dinosaurs. I'm trying not to get into the story too much because there's a bit of a twist and a spoiler and I don't want to give anything away if you haven't played it yet. But this was a great story. Horizon Zero Dawn. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order coming in at $8.57. This is one of the best Star Wars game of all time. There, I said it. Man, from, from building your lightsaber, it has its own story with Cal Kestis. I know the new one's coming out soon. Um, it's, it's basically like a, a, a Souls game light. You have all the bosses and you have to parry and you have to um, do a lot of things that is kind of in a Souls game even to the point where you, where you rest and then all the enemies come back there. But th this was a great Jedi story. This was a great way to, to kind of get back into the lore. And man, the ending, woo! That ending was crazy. I mean, just buy this game for the ending and, and, and it's phenomenal, it's amazing. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So the Uncharted collection isn't there, but it's his little brother, Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 clocks in at $8.44 on price charting. And this was great. This is made by Naughty Dog. And what's really cool about Naughty Dog is it's kind of huge cinematics and it's big set pieces. It's like a really, really big movie. And I really enjoy that. You know, you see all the feel, like the way they just shot the game was, was really cool. There was one time where um, Nathan Drake, who's the protagonist, was driving through a ravine and then it comes out and you just see the entire mountainside. That Man, it takes your breath away. It was really, really beautiful. And the way they ended Nathan Drake's story, yeah, it would be good if you if you uh, played all the other Uncharted before then. But this was because that payoff at the end is a lot better for you. But this was still a really, really great game, even if you haven't played any of the Uncharted. I think this was the first Uncharted I played, and then I kind of went back. So, Uncharted 4. And if you're into, like, B-movie horror flicks, Until Dawn. Until Dawn was a really, really fun game. I don't like horror movies, and I don't like scary movies, but this was just, like, had enough camp to it that it made me really entertain. And it's almost like, you know how you're yelling at a TV during a horror movie, it's like, don't do that, and don't do that, or do this and do that. Um, you get to make that choice. You know, it's played by some actors that you know, maybe you don't, but it's, you know, acted by professional actors. And it was a really good, fun story. It's not gonna win any awards, unless it did. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty campy, it's pretty fun, um, until dawn. Coming in at $8.14 on price charting. And these are the last two games. One of them is a little controversial, but I still really like the game. The game kind of made me be a little bit introspective, with, especially within the first game. It's the Last of Us series. So the Last of Us remaster is $9.46, and the Last of Us 2 is $13.45. The Last of Us is, man, at least for me, it was one of the greatest games ever made. It's, it's actually, you start in Boston too, which is actually kind of cool. And you go on a cross, cross country road trip, um, trying to get this girl all the way out West. The HBO show is gonna come out. And this was, man, what a touching story um, between Joel and Ellie. It, 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 it's, it's really, I'm trying not to spoil anything, even though you might just watch the TV show, might spoil everything, but it's a really, really good journey. And honestly, The Last of Us Part Two kind of completes the whole thing. A lot of people didn't like it because of certain characters that you had to play through and stuff, but what I loved about this game is it was unexpected. And it kind of makes you feel like you don't really know who the bad guy is here. And I, I like that. I like that. And yeah. I really, really enjoyed The Last of Us Part Two. In fact, when I played The Last of Us Part Two, I replayed The Last of Us 
remastered so that I could get like the whole full picture again. And yeah, these were really, really good games. So if you add these up, we're at $99 and 63 cents. It's pretty close, you know, so we, we got it right up there. So you probably pay tax, maybe a little bit more than a hundred, but man, it's a solid 10 game collection just for about a hundred dollars or so. And you can't go wrong with these titles. You, you, man, it's all, it's all bangers and it's all really, really good. And see, the great thing about collecting for the PS4, it's, just, it's a generation behind. And so it's a lot of the games are cheaper now. When I got those games, I paid full price. Uh, but now, they're look at that. They're like $9, $10, $12, $15. And there was a few that was $20, $25 that, that I wanted to put on this too. But I wanted to have like this good quantity for $100. Because I wanted to show you that you could really get a really good game collection just for $100. So I hope you enjoy. Congratulations on getting the PS4. It, it was last generation my favorite system just because of all the exclusives that it had. Um, though I'm enjoying the Xbox uh, Series, S, Series X right now. But yeah, I, I really love the PS4 in the last generation and i'm hoping to get a ps5 if not this year maybe next i'm waiting for the price to go down that's what i did for the ps4 i got a ps4 slim for like 200 dollars. it was like a walmart sale and uh, for my birthday my wife was like yeah go get it and so i got it and yeah ps4 is a solid system it's a great time right now to collect for it because that's where all the sales are you can get a bunch of sales for the PS4. So I encourage you, if you're thinking about either starting a collection or having a new system for a new collection of some sorts, go with the PS4. It's got really great games, great exclusives, and it still really looks good. Like graphically, yeah, it's not 4K, it's not on any of that, it doesn't have ray tracing, but but it still really looks good, you know? I man, I still go back to my PS4 and play some of these just for the stories. So that's it. Thank you for joining. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys later.